what was I doing when the war broke? Deer hunting. Coming home from deer hunting. My mother, when we pulled in the lane, my mother came out to the Brer War. Another grandson of Alvin Aldifer, Wesley Moyer, went from his father's electrical store in Harleysville to a gunnery crew on a B-29 Super Fortress. Uh, we wound up in India. That was our home base. We would fly our supplies over the hump to China. One day we would take gas, and the next time we would take bombs. But uh, we were shot down in the first mission. Flak hit us hard. And uh, I, I remember when we got the orders to bail out, at that time, uh, Japanese was flying wingtip to wingtip with us. And he looked over, it. I remember, I can see it, yeah, he had a nice white scarf on, but a big smile on his face. They wanted us, because we were the first B-29 to be shot down anywhere. After their plane was hit, Wesley jumped for the first time in his life with the entire crew. I looked up at my chute, nothing there. And that was when I said the shortest prayer in my life, please, Lord. And I ripped it out, and uh, then I felt the chute opening. And then when I hit the ground, well, when the chute opened, I said, the second shortest prayer, thank you, Lord. After the crew was captured by unknown forces, their interpreter was a local Chinese woman. And she explained what was going on, that we fell into the hands of bandits, and that we were now in safe hands, in the, in the hands of the underground, and that's when I, first time I saw this, uh, I called him Pop, this older man. But all the time she explained it, he was looking at me and grinning. He never saw a redhead before. And from then on, I was his buddy. While his hometown knew only that he was missing in action, Wesley's crew were working their way secretly across the Chinese countryside. We only traveled at night, the daytime we slept. And uh, they gave each one of us a hat to wear. When you put this on, in the silhouette, you look like a Chinese at night time. Nearly half a century later, when waking up in the morning, Wesley still looks over to see the hat hanging by his bed. It's just there as a reminder, you know, that uh, I'm lucky to be here.